Okay, WB Montreal, you screwed up for the last time. I am, I am done with this, okay? You do not mess with Robin, okay? God, this continuity makes zero sense now. My timeline video makes zero sense now if this is true. Why is Tim Drake Robin in Batgirl, Batgirl's DLC? Why? Why is Tim Drake Robin? Out of all the care, this makes zero sense. Zero sense whatsoever. Everybody, I saw on Batman Arkham, uh, Batman Arkham Videos video, I commented something. And I don't, I'm not even going to read that comment. But every, like almost everybody in that said, uh, Tim Drake, yeah, of course he's Robin. There was a Robin during, there was a Robin during Arkham Asylum. No, there was not a Robin during Arkham Asylum. Not one. Not one. If, if Joker taunts Batman saying, I hope it looks like you can use a nice new psychic, does not mean, that literally means that there is no Robin. Right now, currently, in Arkham Asylum, there's no Robin. Even K-Wing on freaking Twitter says that Robin was, uh, I'm sorry, Tim Drake was Robin two months into Batman Arkham City. So Tim Drake was Robin for two months. In Arkham City. That means Tim Drake's only been Robin for about, what, 11 months now? The, the continuity that WB Montreal has been completely doing is wrong. Batman Arkham Origins, horrible. Batman Arkham Knight freaking Batgirl Matter of Family DLC, it's wrong, man. It does not make sense. If it's set before Arkham Asylum, then it's not freaking Tim. It's not Tim Drake. It would be rather a really, really grown-up Dick Grayson or Jason Todd. My bet would have been on Jason Todd. I even made a video saying that the Robin in the Batgirl DLC was Jason Todd. And that made more sense than whatever bullcrap they're making. It's making me mad. This is going to be a rant video. It's making me mad that WB Montreal doesn't talk to Roxy. They don't try to communicate with Roxy because if they communicated with Roxy and said, hey, our Robin is Tim Drake, Roxy wouldn't be like, no, make it Jason Todd. Ugh. I am so sorry I'm going off on this tangent. It, it, I'm just so mad that WB Montreal doesn't know the difference between continuity. They're going off of cre they're going creativity off of continuity. That's what they're doing. They're literally pulling a new DC Comics freaking I'm I'm so mad at this right now. I'm not even get, I'm trying not get to get worked up, but I have to cuz it ruins the entire thing of Batman Arkham Knight uh, continuity, Batman Arkham Knight's freaking entire timeline. I even made a video saying that Tim Drake was not Robin during Arkham Asylum, and that is like probably one of the best like timeline theories out there. It probably makes the most sense out of all of them. It Oh my gosh. I, I I wanted to see I wanted to play as Jason Todd. Jason Todd's a more brutal Robin than Tim Drake. Uh, like, you know, I'm done. Uh, tell me what you guys in the comments below. Are you mad like I am that you know Tim Drake is the Robin for this DLC? At least from what we saw so far. You know uh, what really makes me think that this is just like a, a skin idea and they're trying to trick us is you know. In one part of the DLC, you see him with his hood off, and in the other part, you see him with his hood on. That is the only part that I really think, hey, was that a creativity thing, or are we using the Robin skin? You know, who knows? Tell me what you guys did in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.